Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up alongside them and walked with them, but they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them, named Cleopas, asked him, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who doesn't know about the things that have happened these days? What things? Jesus asked. Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. Our chief priests and our rulers sentenced him to death and he was crucified. But we had hoped that he was the one who would redeem Israel. And what's more, it's been three days since all of that happened. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went early this morning to the tomb but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said that he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and they found it just as the women had said, but they did not see Jesus. He said to them, how foolish you are and how slow to believe everything that all the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer all these things and then enter his glory? And beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them everything that was written in the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going farther. But they urged him strongly, stay with us for it's nearly evening, the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table, he took the bread he gave thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to them. At that moment, their eyes were opened, they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us as he walked on the road with us and opened the scriptures to us? They got up and returned at once to Jerusalem, where they found the eleven and the others, who were saying, it's true, the Lord has arisen. He has appeared to Simon. Then the two told them about what had happened to them on the way and how Jesus had been recognized by them when he broke the bread. And that's one small part of God's big story.